I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Oh my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your general weekly reading this week, Leo. Now, I also do your weekly uh, you versus them reading for, for uh, you and your person, Leo, which I'll leave a link to um, over there for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Leo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate with Leo and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. <laughs> If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card called out to you the most, because that's how I keep up with y'all, through the comments, right? Um, and then also, I would appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe if you do find a reading or uh, card that resonates with you in this reading, because it does help out my channel a lot, and I'm super appreciative of it, Leo, when you take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Leo, this reading's here just to give you some perspective. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. It's your life to live, not mine. With all that being said, let's now get into your reading this week. Leo. So for your general energies this week, we have the waning moon. What is it that you need to release? This is, I feel like, going to be the overall theme of what you need to ask, regardless of when we get into your career, Leo, when we get into your social. I feel like that's the question you need to ask is, what is it that you need to release from the situation? Whether that's you releasing an energy or a person, or whether that's you releasing thoughts behind something, uh, right? Or, you know, it's just an overall, like, what is it that you need to let go of? I feel like that's like the theme because there's just like this um, sense of like stagnant energy isn't necessarily a word for it, but it's just like something that you've been going on over and over and over in your head for like possibly weeks now. And it hasn't really shifted. It hasn't really changed. And it's just like, it's like, even for some of you Leos, you probably feel like you need to have like some type of like mental break from this. So it's just like, yeah, this is just going to be a week of just releasing things, releasing the uh, need to have control, even perhaps. We have as your two tarot cards as well for your overall energy uh, this week. Is for um, my words just got scrambled. Leo is the. <laughs> Don't mind me. I've been fasting, Leo, so I have a weird brain right now. We have the Knight of Pentacles and then the Eight of Swords for you. So the Knight of Pentacles goes into uncharted territory. The Knight of Pentacles leaves their comfort zone to go out further to widen their reach, right? The uh, Knight of Pentacles also is that energy of um, just looking for more, truly. Looking for more purpose. It's one of those uh, things where it's just like there has to be more than this, right? It's one of those things not wanting to settle, right? So that makes sense as to why you would have the what, do, what is it that you need to release because it's like even in this uh, the Nine of Pentacles here, I don't know if it's intentional or not, Leo, but um, I kind of see this as like a trail of pentacles being left behind them. Now, honey, that does not mean you need to start leaving a trail of money behind you, <laughs> right? But it is like that sense of you know, these pentacle energies, it's like that stable energy. And pentacle energy always, usually, like, granted, everything's energy, especially when we're talking about tarot, right? But pentacles in regard is different than, like, all the other suits because the pentacles usually refers to stuff that's already in, like, the earthly realm, usually. And so while these pentacles at one point served you on your journey, you're having to release it and replace that new pent like replace those pent old pentacles with something new. So this is definitely probably I won't be surprised, uh, Leo. Almost called you Aries. I apologize. I won't be surprised, Leo, if we uh, get like the death card uh, coming in here. Um, just any type of transitional card. And then we have the Eight of Swords coming in here. So this is a situation, pretty graphic card, isn't it? I don't usually use the Necronomicon just because it is so graphic and it probably does bother some people. But this is a sense of where probably for some of you Leos, you feel this need to like move on because there's like this sense of unsteadiness, this sense of, um, what can we call this? It sounds dramatic again, but it's just like you don't feel safe in your current space or you feel like your environment just isn't conducive to you. So it's just like you're just looking at it and being like, OK, how can I get out of this mindset, perhaps? Right. Do you need to release that environment? What is it that you need to release in that environment to let go? Is it? I'm getting a sense of people, honestly. Right. Because it almost is like you kind of like are 
observing other people in your environment and you're just it's almost like a, that's not how i want my life to turn out sort of thing right in the best way possible with peace and love right but um leo let's start getting into your energies now as if we haven't let's start getting into your career side of things for my leos that are interested in their career and finances but we're going to keep in mind those three cards for the rest of this reading and how it correlates to the rest starting out though it's really good energy we have the ace of pentacles coming in back of the deck with the three of cups so beautiful energy beautiful beautiful energy to have for your career Leo, I really see a lot of positivity. I see celebration. The Three of Cups usually involves more than one person. So if you have been trying to do something with a person, um, a project with a person, or working alongside with other people, um, I feel like you're going to have, start reaping the benefits of that. This also could be something that just come to, came to mind as well. It's just like if you just work like a normal nine to five, right? Nothing wrong with that. But um you know, maybe if you have, if this is just like, you could see this as like your employees, uh, your fellow employees, your coworkers, right? And, you know, this very much is like, I mean, we still have to pull clarifiers, but this very much is giving me a, um, maybe you guys are celebrating like a raise, right? Some Something in that matter. I just see a lot of positive, like you, it's a lot of positivity, right? Um, and if we're going to keep in mind with that Knight of Pentacles as well for you, Leo, perhaps... This is talking about you um, getting a payout from you taking a risk in regards to something. I do kind of feel like the risk was already taken um, for you to start seeing the benefits of it already. Um, but you could have already be thinking about um, doing like what you would perceive as like a risky move, going out of your going out of your comfort zone, releasing like your old job, perhaps. Right letting go of your old environment some of you guys might even be moving because of that right but that's a completely just side thing so the clarifiers i pulled for you leo for your ace of pentacles is the moon card coming in the justice card oh wow <laughs> the justice card and then the temperance card all major arcana so this is definitely talking about like when you see all these major arcanas again i see that as like heavy transition energies i see this as just really potent to have this all topped off with the ace of pentacles like it, this is really good i'm not gonna lie for you leo in terms of your career and finances um but this is where you probably might get annoyed with me <laughs> um how, what card do we want to tap into first we need to tap into this justice card first i feel um this justice card libra energy doesn't even matter though i just pointed out because i'm a libra <laughs> but um well, the justice card shows where it's kind of like uh again kind of like getting what you deserve right so if it is like that raise at work it's just like well of course you do deserve it right you've been working really hard to get that raise right um or if it's even about uh let's say I almost feel like, I can't help but feel, Leo, that there's this sense of unsureness, or it's just like, it feels like you have like one foot out the door for some of you guys. It almost feels like you guys are, some of you Leos are ready to fold in on some type of situation. And you're being asked to have patience at this time with this temperance card. And something I wanna point out as well, both of these cards, the Temperance card as well, talks about balancing, right? Balancing of emotions usually, right? Because in, I think in this deck as well. Yeah, even in this, all the Temperance cards usually has like the temp, uh, individual holding a couple of cups, balancing out the liquids um, in the cups. And the cups represents emotions, right? Water. Um, so balancing out your emotions in regards to this. So if you do have like one foot out the door because you feel like it's not going to, like, whatever your situation is, isn't going to pay out. Bring some more balance to it. Like the double whammy of balance. And the temperance card also talks about patience, having a little bit more patience at this time, which I know can be frustrating, right? But you have the moon card coming in and this is what makes it this exciting, right? Because this is something that lets me know that ace of pentacles comes in as like something that you don't anticipate. And that's why you're being asked to have patience at this time, because if you just like balance things out you just keep a level head for a little bit longer this moon energy is going to come out and just give you like that positive blessing 
back in the deck, Four of Wands. Like, this is the Four of Wands is like it's already in the back, 11 11 card, right? So it's just like it's pretty much there. You just have to wait it out just a little bit longer, Leo. Um, <laughs> really good spread for your uh, career, though. Let's get into the social situations, though, for my Leos that are interested in their social dynamics. Three of Cups is following you. So it probably is. I would say it's probably in regards to this sharing it with the same people in terms of your career. Um, it doesn't have to be like a coworker though. It could just be like involved. Uh, this could just be signifying like a group of people. I'm probably actually I'm getting that sense of where it's addressing a group of people um, for you more than just like one person. It feels like a group dynamic, family perhaps. Let's see here. Page of Swords. So someone has been watching the other person. Someone has been wanting to communicate with the other person or persons. Um, there is with this page of swords, it's kind of like also um, coming at it with like a new approach, coming at it with like new communication skills, 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 new communication, <laughs> new communication skills, Leo, where maybe perhaps someone is learning how to better express themselves to you. Or maybe you're learning how to express to yourself to your family or to the people that you just overall you hold closely to you, right? Your circle, your circle of friends, right? Uh, we have the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles coming in. Now, also, I always just like to say this as well, Leo, as a tarot reader, when you see a bunch of aces, um, that's like an affirmation to go forward with something. And I kind of feel like it, that's more so in regards to your career with something. But I guess we could even entertain it in terms of your page of swords, because maybe if we're going to do a storyline where it's like a page of swords, you are the one wanting to communicate with somebody. The eight of wands is like that forward movement being like, yeah, no, grab up at this opportunity. Maybe you see an opportunity to communicate with somebody um, in regards to the matters of the heart and your feelings, opening up to them. Um, Ace of Cups, positive sign for that. And so when you have all these aces, it's a forward affirmation to just go forward into doing something, right? Um, I feel like um, for some of you guys, Leo, five of, pen, uh, five of Wands, there is like this fear where it's like, if you open up, perhaps there would be like a conflict or conflicting interests, right? I don't really see that panning out though. I feel like this is more so just in your head um, for this, but let's see, do we want to pull any Oracle? Let's pull some Oracle cards, actually. Let's pull some, let's pull a moon card for this, Leo. Um, actually we'll pull a moon card. For I just did this for the Aries reading as well. <sighs> yeah, Leo, I just dropped all my moon cards. I did this last time as well, where it's just like, oh, you know what? I want to do a moon card. You know what? This is what happens. This is what I get, Leo. This is what I get when I try to go off script, when I try to go do, <laughs> be crazy about it, you know, it's just like, oh, let me just throw in an oracle card just because, right? Oh. <laughs> see what happens, right? Did I get all the cards? Nope. Oh, this one then. Let's see. Now let's pull a couple of oracle cards, or we'll try to anyways. All right. So I'm going to do your career one first for your career pile because that was your first pile. We have the new moon in eclipse. Expect a powerful change. New moons talks about new beginnings, right? Uh, expect a powerful change. Something I want to say, I feel like this kind of highlights the moon card as well for it because it's like this new moon in eclipse. There's no light. It was, I feel like it's kind of amplifying um, this powerful change that you are not going to expect um, in regards to your career. So it's really beautiful to have that. And then for your social situations, Leo, we have the third quarter moon where it's saying adjustments are required. Uh, so yeah, I was getting that sense with that page of swords where it's just like a communication, a new approach to communication. Uh, maybe if we're going to go with that narrative of you opening up to somebody else, to your family, perhaps, um, there is like this suggestion with that page of swords of just like a new approach, a new way to communicate with them. But there's still, you're still getting that go ahead of being like, no, like it's good. It's good to do this. Like, just make sure that your approach is a little bit more refined. Um, but now let's get into just your general energy of things, messages from your spirit guide and ancestors, whatever you subscribe to, Leo. Let's see what's up with that. <clears throat> if I can get a hold of these cards now. <clears throat> All right, what's going on with Leo? 
All right, two cards came out for you, Leo, for this. We have, and I'll be, can't even hold these cards, honey. <laughs> and we'll be pulling some clarifiers still as well. We have the star card coming in with the four of pentacles. Beautiful. And I feel like, again, it keeps on giving me the same energy from like your career, Leo. The four of pentacles is an individual who I always use the reference of just like that waiting it out, sitting duck energy. Um, you're waiting out, like, in this way, it's, like, kind of waiting out for your investments, right? Um, some of you might want to, like, sell, but it, this is kind of like that sign of being, like, waited out just a little bit more because that moon energy is going to expect a powerful change. Expect maybe, you know, just using that analogy of stocks, expect that stock that has been, like, you know, just doing uh flatlining a little bit or even going dipping a little bit expect there's a pos very definite possibility where it starts uh going upwards i it's just a lot of spirit really is honing in in terms of a lot of leo's finances and it's paired with the star card um and it's also i want to say like you're just waiting it out though similar to that temperance star card is the card of um again it's actually about release as well it's releasing it's the release you releasing either like the constraints that are holding you back from attaining your star or just through you having that wish fulfillment, which is literally what the star is the representation of it, is that wish fulfillment um, that allows you to release a bunch of stress in your life, which naturally, especially when it comes to like finances, right? If you get a bunch of, if you have a good stock and you are able to have um, finances come through, which it's really pointing out in that way. Uh, yeah, then... Let's look at this though, clarifiers. Uh, we have the two of pentacles with the ten of swords and then the nine of coins. So this lets me know uh, you're not dealing with this waiting very well, right? This lets me know where it's just like, you're afraid of looking like a fool in some sense. And this could even be regards to your you and you opening up to that person, right? Um, but there is like this case of needing to make a decision and with that Knight of Queens, remember the Knight of Queens, Knight of Pentacles, it's still like this push to go out there, Leo. Um, there's this push, even if it's just like, yeah, you may hurt a little bit, right? I'm not going to paint a scene where it's just all sun sunshine and rainbows. Um, it may be a little bit chaotic, um, but it's all in the name of going out and getting more and you get that star card, you get that wish fulfillment because of it. So it seems to be worth it. Uh, yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below what card, card resonated. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then also share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages, though. Until next time, Leo, I love you so much. Bye.